go back to St. Mojo Homestead. I, I'm happy that we get to plant seeds today. The planting corn seeds. First, we have to prepare the soil. We're just going to spread the, um, out the dirt and break some clumps and of, of dirt and we will start planting. So this row is one that we put the compost in pretty deep uh, with the expectation of doing Joe's special corn on this row. Where did you get that corn? On Easter today and at, before church. <laughs> before church. That's very specific. <laughs> yep, today, which is Easter. We're recording this on Easter. Yes. Uh, but yes, you did get it for Easter. So why did you get corn for Easter? Because um, I was wishing that I could have just rainbow corn. And I asked my mom and dad, and they said maybe. And I got corn today. And I was super excited, so I wanted to plant it today. So last year we tried to do rainbow corn because of Joe. And uh, it just, we put it out in the orchard. It didn't really get the attention it needed. Um, and ended up just, I mean, it came up, it grew halfway decent plants, but didn't produce anything. So this year, since he did give it so much attention and loves his rainbow corn, we decided we'll designate a row in the garden just for his corn. So ready to start planting? Yeah. All right. So what I would do is let's do, because corn likes to be close together. So let's do two rows all the way down. Okay. okay. So do you want to poke the holes or do you want to do one side and I'll do one side? Uh, I want to poke the holes. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, right there. And I would do it like right here. So that far apart. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you go down that side? I'll go down this side. Yeah, so where else? Like, where? You got to keep going all the way down in a row. You got to keep up with where you poke those holes. Good job. Uh oh. Okay, that was so, so good dirt. So, how deep do you poke your hole, Mr. Farmer? Uh, uh, like, if you're like six years old. You, you probably like put it up to about like right here of your finger. That what the package says. Two and a half feet. Two and a half inches. Yeah, one one to two inches. One to two inches long. All right. Into the dirt. I got your spot marked where you left off. Where? Pen. That was your last hole, so probably right in there. Make sure you kind of push the dirt to the side, see? Watch. If you do this, stick your finger in there and then spin it around a little bit. Okay. There you go. We have to move this. <laughs> or you can just go on here. Let's just go on this side of it. Let's go a little bit. Yep. Is that where you did it? Yep. Okay. It's crumbly dirt. It is crumbly dirt. It does make it hard to get a good hole, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's really good. I felt the good dirt. There we go. Oh my, we got a chicken coming out of the goat house. Switch. Walking. Yes. Okay, done. Did no. you did you say a blessing over them? 
Yeah? In my head. In your head? Good job. You gotta pray that they will grow strong and healthy, right? Yeah. And I've been praying that a plant back there, over there by a greenhouse, it was droopy a lot. And I moved there, watered it, and, like a few days ago. And I've been praying over it. Yeah, it was the Russian sage, our volunteer Russian sage that popped up. I had to move it because it was a little bit too close to the rock area. So we moved it, but it got really sad and droopy when I moved it, didn't it? Yeah. But you, you've been taking care of it. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> if you guys are reading the front of my shirt and you're wondering what in the world's going on, it's one of those shirts that gets you to read the back. The back actually says, be the church. So... Oftentimes, I'll get people that will see this that know that we go to church and stuff, and they're like, wait a second, what? Like, what's going on? That's what's going on. It's okay, guys. So, Mr. Farmer, how are these seeds going to grow? Sunshine and water. Sunshine and water. So, we got to keep them watered. Yep. And are they going to grow ugly or pretty? Pretty. Yeah. Dirty hands? Yeah. You like dirty hands? No. What? Farmers are supposed to like dirty hands. Those are farmer hands right there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on my finger though. It can barely come out. Uh oh. So we still have a good bit of seeds left. So we're going to have to figure out a different place to plant them. I'm thinking maybe over there with all of our onions where mom was weeding yesterday. Yeah. Because we could have your corn growing up and then the peanuts growing all around the base of it. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, over there, like, next to, like, like, it, like, like, inside, like, a peanut plant, like, between the peanut plants, like. Oh, your like volunteer peanut, peanut, plant, peanut plant a, over there? Yeah, a peanut plant, and then, and then the rainbow corn, the peanut plant, rainbow corn, peanut plant, peanut corn. <laughs> I think that's what we might do over here, because corn really likes to be <sighs> close together. So that it can get pollinated yeah. really well. Yeah. So I think it's probably going to be best if we just put them all over there and really cram them all in. Yeah. Because that's where we're going to plant your peanuts on purpose over there. <laughs> yeah. Not all those volunteers from your last year peanuts that are popping up over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a great week and be blessed.